Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Photoshop User TV brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals, the people that bring you all kinds of cool things like Photoshop User Magazine, Photoshop TV, the NAP member website, Photoshop World. Photoshop World, all kinds of other all stuff. Kinds so of stuff. Uh, we are, we're very happy to be back. My name is Matt Kluskowski, and I am joined by Mr. Corey Barker. Oh, have to wait for it. Wait for it. <sighs> <laughs> It'll show up. There it is. There we go. You got okay. the little thing. That, you're official now. So you official, get, as yeah. soon as the thing pops up below your name, yes, then you can yeah. actually it's, say I'm it. not really here until the lower third shows <laughs> yeah. up. Exactly. How's it going, man? It's going good. Cool. Good. It's been a while. Yeah. I know, I know. I know. It's Happy been, to be uh, back. I don't Always. know if I've been on the show with you yet this, this season. Yeah, it has been I like calling it seasons, even though we're not really in seasons. But uh, Groupings of shows. But we've got a few good things. Matt's got some uh, landscape stuff, I understand, he's going to show us in a little bit. But before that, we, of course, have our Peach Put ebook deal that we want to talk about. It's a great e-deal that they've been doing. Limited time offer, 40% off. A book called Album Moxie. I have a copy here somewhere. It's called Album Moxie. It's a great title. Mm -hmm. The Savvy Photographer's Guide to Album Design and More with InDesign. Right there. Pretty cool book there. So you can go to the peachpit.com slash KelbyTV. Use the coupon code KelbyTV and the offer ends 12 2. That's December 2nd. So you get 40% off the ebook. This is, of course, the analog version I just showed you, but you get the ebook <laughs> for 40% off. So be sure to check that out. Cool. So with that, we're going to jump right into it. So, what do you have okay. for us today? I see Lightroom. Well, well first off, we got to say Happy Thanksgiving. We do have to. Yes, you're right. Because it's like it's Turkey Day week, and yes. uh, and we're we're obviously not recording this on Thanksgiving mm -hmm. because our families would hate us. But yeah, uh, exactly. So, happy Happy Thanksgiving holiday to everybody. You know, you know why I love Thanksgiving. Why is that? Is because it's like I'm a Christmas freak. Yeah. I got the cheesy Christmas sweater and everything. Oh, of course. <laughs> but are I you love, Chris, Are you Clark Griswold? <laughs> I could be, <laughs> except I don't do the lights outside. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to do that this year though. I, uh, I, I, I have a guy that comes by the house and does it. <laughs> I don't trust myself up there. Oh, but nice. I, I love Thanksgiving because it's the official first day that I can start playing Christmas carols. You're, you're right. That's true. It's, uh, you can play them before that, but it's I don't It's just weird before that, yeah. yeah. So it's like, so, uh, anyway, anyway, so happy right. holidays to everybody. Hope Absolutely. you're out there, out all there right. shopping and spending all kinds of mm -hmm. buying TVs for six cents. All right. If, so, if only it were true. <laughs> um, so we're going to jump into uh, basically Photoshop for landscape photographers, Photoshop Lightroom for landscape photographers. I'm starting off in a develop module in Lightroom here. Um, it is the same thing as if you opened this, this photo up inside of Photoshop inside of Camera Raw. Mm -hmm. And uh, these, these, all these settings that you see over here, basic, tone curve, they're exactly the same between Lightroom and Photoshop. So whatever I'm doing here, if you don't have Lightroom, you could use in Photoshop. All right, so we're going to go to the basic panel, and uh, we start off. I always, I, I kind of like, I, I like a warm landscape photo, so I always drag my slider over to the right a little bit just to warm things up, especially enhance some of that morning uh, light that we have over here on the the mountains. Uh, a little bit of contrast, highlights. So, well, here's the thing: exposure. I'd love to bring down the exposure because look at the sky. See how much detail there is mm -hmm. up there in the sky when I bring detail. You know, that's the sky. that's what it started out as. Oh, wow. but there's a lot of detail up there, okay? But I'd also love to bring out the foreground too because there's a lot of detail there. And this is this is the the plight of the landscape photographer because you're always faced with um, with problems like this, mm -hmm. you know. So what I would do is just leave exposure alone for now. I come over here to highlights and bring the highlight slider down because that'll, that'll tone down the sky. And then fill light or shadows, it used to be called fill light, uh, that will open up the foreground. I won't quite go that far with it, but you can see how far you could go if you wanted. So we'll open up some of that foreground here. Okay, uh, I hold down the Option key on Mac, Alt on PC, click on the white slider, everything goes black, I just drag it to the right until I get a couple little specks there, meaning I have a good white point. I do the same thing on the blacks, everything goes white, and you drag it to the left till you have a good black point. Then we'll come over here, add some clarity. That just adds some detail to everything. And uh, vibrance or saturation, if it's not a portrait, I usually punch up the saturation a little bit. Just gives a little bit of a color boost. If it's a portrait, vibrance will uh, leave the skin tones alone, but we don't have any skin tones here, so we can do saturation. Mm. Uh, overall, I might, the, the problem is if I bring down the exposure, the exposure is the heavy hitter, right? That, that brings everything down. So this is where we can go over and grab our graduated filter. I can bring down the exposure here and I can just drag down across the sky. You see what that does? Here, let me delete it. Let's start again. 
because I want Corey to watch. See? Ah. So we're able to darken the sky, much like you would use a graduated filter on the camera in the field. Right. right? You can hold one up over your camera. Mm -hmm. So it does, it does a, a very similar thing to that, and you can move it around. Um, here's a little trick. You ready for this one, Corey? Yes. You ready for this? Cool trick. Because I spend a tremendous amount of time in Lightroom. I know. I need to know this. <laughs> um, <laughs> you notice by doing this, I have this line right. that now goes across the image. It looks okay in the sky because it is feathered mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. of the filter. But you see what happens here? Yeah. Same thing that would happen if I held one in front sure. of the lens. Mm -hmm. Well, if you go over here to the other sliders, you can increase the shadow slider and it'll bring out some of that detail that got lost in the shadows there. So it's a, it's a really great trick. It, it's something that the, the filter in the field couldn't do. Um, so uh, it really helps out, kind of helps even those things out. You can even pull down on the highlights a little bit here. And I would even introduce some blue. We warmed the photo before. Mm -hmm. Everything got warm, including all, that, all the sky. So I can go over here and just kind of cool that and get a little bit of blue right up here in the clouds. It's interesting that technology is there because you, you, you never know that information is there. It can yeah. be blown out or something like that, but yet without these, you don't, you know, you don't realize the detail that's actually there. Yeah, the, the last few years, it's amazing at how good the images that come out of our DSLRs are. Mm -hmm. um, just, just the fact that you can pull so much shadow and highlight detail that's I mean, inside I mean, we're, these we're shooting at insanely high ISOs now. Yeah, and it's, it's crazy. It's, I mean, it's insane what you're able to do with it. So. Uh, the last thing I would do here is click on new. I might pull one up um, from the bottom just because we darkened the sky up at the top, we might want to do that down here at the bottom. I don't know that I'd use all the same settings and I probably wouldn't go as dark because it's a reflection, it'd be mm -hmm. darker to begin with. All right, so we'll hit close there and uh, let's come down here, a little bit of tone curve, just kind of tweak, pull it up on the top, pull it down on the bottom, just gives a nice amount of contrast there. And uh, we'll come over here to the effects panel, add a little bit of a, uh, just a little bit of a vignette around there. Overall, I think now I might come over here and kind of increase the exposure mm -hmm. and maybe even pull back on the highlights a little bit more. So you can kind of see, I'll hit the backslash key. That's before. What a world of difference. That's huh? after. Mm -hmm. Before, after. Huge difference and we're able to do it with one photo. No mm -hmm. HDR, no stacking, exactly. no layers or anything like that. If I were to do any one thing over inside of Photoshop to kind of fix this up, um, Lightroom has a cloning and healing brush, and mm -hmm. the Lightroom 5 has gotten much, much better. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple of little things over here. You'll find that sometimes that cloning and healing brush, it works great on small little like blemishes. Here, let me go grab this. You've got this little funky thing um, in the water here. And you'll find it works great on things like that. Okay, um, Where it, it kind of falls apart sometimes is when there's too much texture around. Mm -hmm. This would be a good job for Photoshop. So just go to Photo, Edit In, and just open this up over in the Photoshop. We're just continuing the workflow. Photoshop is where I would go if I ever needed to make a selection. Maybe I, need, maybe I just need to select the sky. We're mm -hmm. talking about landscapes. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just need to select the sky or a tree. You, know, you have a tree in the photo that you sure. have open. Yeah. But maybe I just need to select something. That's mm -hmm. where I'd go to Photoshop. Right. If I want to really move, remove like a garbage can or something big, uh, that's where I'd go to Photoshop just to do some touch-ups. And uh, we'll just mm -hmm. zoom in down here. And I'm, I'm going to grab, uh, grab my spot healing brush because that's got the content-aware technology built in, and content-aware rocks. And uh, let's see here, we just get rid of that stuff. There's a little sign poking in the corner here. So just look around your photo, make sure there's not any little... Isn't it funny how commonplace, we just use that spot healing brush, like I know. it's no big deal. Years ago, you would have had to go through layer upon layer, and blending, and all these things just to get to, in it, to do even that, you know? All right, so you can go through. I won't get rid of all these little spots, but if you're going to print this out, those spots would be pretty big. You'd want to get rid of them. Right. And if I were to really finish this up, filter, sharpen. We could sharpen it in Lightroom, but we're here in Photoshop. I kind of like Photoshop sharpening. And uh, so we'll just go to uh, 200, put that radius about 1.4, and uh, zoom in on the photo. You can see the before and after of the sharpening. Probably can go higher, but we'll click OK. Mm. And uh, that pretty much takes us through Look at that. our entire landscape edit. All right. If you wanted to return to Lightroom, just go to the File menu, just hit Save. It'll save a copy of it right back over to Lightroom. Oh, that's awesome. So, and all for one photo, go. like you say, it's just amazing with the detail that's in there yeah. that you may or may it's, not know is there. 
So um, let's take a quick break. We'll come right back. I've got a quick little tip. Actually, something I just noticed uh, Matt talking about. I'm going to talk about that a little bit. Some giveaways and a few other things. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> So, dude, did you see those the deals that went out for uh, for like Cyber Monday yeah, and Black exactly. Friday and all that that crazy every stuff? Every year it seems to get better and better. Yeah, some, some seriously insane deals. Definitely so want to check that. Make sure, out. yeah, make sure you check them out and uh, take advantage of them because they're usually the best deals of the year. Absolutely, so. and of course, another uh, little promotion is the the gift, the gifting of a net membership. You mm -hmm. can actually, if you buy a membership for a friend or relative or whoever, you can extend your membership by another two months. So you can actually, really incentive if you wanted a friend <laughs> yeah. or, you know, if, I always, I always hey, kind of bought this for you, but I guess I know. I, I was, that's what the joke I made. I was just like, you like, you, do you not like shopping for other people when there's nothing in it for you? <laughs> well, guess what? There is now. There's extra time on your membership. All right. Um, actually, uh, I have a quick little tip. Uh, actually, talking about what you were talking about a minute ago, you went into Photoshop and we're talking about Content Aware. Now, the great thing about Content Aware is when it was first introduced, remember what was Content Aware Scale? Yeah. And it was impressive, but didn't have all the best yeah. practical use in the world. Yeah. But then they expanded Content Aware into all these other tools. As you saw Matt did a minute ago, he used it, the Spot Healing Brush, but another favorite tool for retouchers is the Patch Tool. I love the Patch Tool. Where you can actually select an area and clone it, and you know, basically it kind of does its own blending. But now, it does in fact use Content Aware. If you go up here in the Options Bar and change the patch from Normal to Content Aware, you'll get a much better blend. So if I just did something like, I wanted to fill in this gap in this tree right here, let's just select this little area here. And of course, I've got it set, and I'll just go over here. Oh, no, I gotta go the other way. I have to select the area first, and then drag over here, and it's going to get a little content aware, and look, fills in that area. Dude, I love that tool. Flawlessly. I love the patch tool already myself, but the fact that it's got content aware yeah. makes it that much better. Yeah, that is, really, that is like my, one of my go-to yeah. tools, so. Absolutely, I love it, so. All right, so uh, giveaways. You will get a uh, NAP membership. NAP membership, Give of course. Give away NAP membership, so if you already have a NAP membership, we'll extend it by here. And, and we uh, have a cool book. This actually thumbs through. This is a really cool book. It's The Last Layer by Bonnie Pierce Latka, if I said that name correctly. But look who's on the cover. Russell Brown. It's Russell Brown of Adobe. <laughs> Very cool stuff. It's a lot of really cool, like, practical techniques of, like, you know, using paints and textures and things and uh, bringing them into your uh, Photoshop workflow. Very cool book there. You will get that and, of course, your Near of Matt membership by going to, oh, got to pull it up. It's kelbytv.com slash... Contest. Contest. Right there. Go to the pull down menu, go to Photoshop user TV, enter your name, email, and leave us a comment. Something you want to see on the show. If you want to wish uh, Pete uh, a Merry Christmas, you know, even though he, he doesn't celebrate Christmas, he's the Grinch. He is not. Is he? <laughs> no, we all love Christmas. As, as Matt said, we're actually listening to uh, Christmas carols right now. You can't hear them, but we can. can't tell what we are. Yeah, we are. All right. 
But that I think that wraps it up. Yes, cool, of course. Man. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this, and uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Corey, thank you. Mm -hmm. Great little absolutely. tip there. I love yes, the patch tool. I, was, uh, it's a I little, love it, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great little addition is mm -hmm. that content-aware feature. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for, uh, thanks for being on the show with me. Absolutely. Today. Good deal. Guys, we will see you again soon. Have a great Thanksgiving weekend. Safe, happy, and all that fun stuff. Take care. Bye-bye.